Hello and welcome to Japan by Food. This is Thieves to Table. Today I'm in Sakai, which is a city that is known for Japan's largest tomb dating from the 4th to 6th century. But that's not why I'm here today. Sakai has a history of knife craftsmanship dating back 600 years. And any chef that considers themselves a chef in Japan is likely to have a knife from Sakai. Now, this is Enemy Hamono. It is a knife factory, and they are going to walk me through making my very own knife. But I will do my absolute best to cause no accidents. So let's go and find out a bit more. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. CB to Moshi Mas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Enami san, and he is the owner here at Enami Hamono. But I don't know much about this factory, so. Kono kojo ni sitte, itsu kara hajibetan desu ka? Yari hajimeta no wa, eh, watashi de godai me になります Oh, すごい. Eh, to Edo jidai no matsu kara. Kono kouba jidai wa atarashi desu. Kono sayo ba wa showa ni haitte kara desu ne. じゃあ、あの私は今日はちょっとやってみたいと思いますが、あの体験ですね。頑張ります。I will try my hardest to not have an accident. で、えー、材料が、えー、鉄と鋼の2種類ですねで鋼が、えー、包丁の刃の部分切れる部分になるんですけど、うん、これで1本ですね、はい、これで包丁1本分にはっ、えー、かかる鋼の量ですそれを鉄の上に乗せてくっつけてこれで1本ですあー、はいえー、この機械で叩いて伸ばしていくとこれになりますおー、オッケー、少々形になりますね、はい But it's incredible to see that this becomes so thin. Like, I, I just didn't have a concept of how a knife was made. <gasps> just with your hands? Tede! So, this is the one that I'm going to use. I'm waiting for the fireworks. これでも、鋼がくっついた状態です。もうここにくっついてます。わお。で、これを今からこの形まで、叩いて、伸ばしていきます。これで今、鉄の上に乗せて、鋼がこう、くっついて、伸びてます。こっち一面鋼です。実際スティールオンリー。はい。作りたての包丁にはここに鱗状のようなものがあるのわかりますよね。酸化鉄と言います。えー、包丁の表面にくっついてます。それを取る,取るところから、はいえー、体験は始まるんですけど、包丁を削るときに。えー、鉄の粉がパーって飛ぶんで、その時は危ないのでゴーグルをしてくださいね。Okay, I shall prepare.、えー、ずっとしなくて大丈夫です。Oh, はい、あの削る時だけ。でもファッションはどうですか？あもうずっとやってください。<笑>えー、酸化鉄が本当はこうくっついてたんですけど、うんえー、金槌でこう叩いて昔は取ってました。Oh, はい、けど今はこの大きな機械の中に入れてやると酸化鉄が取れて出てきます。大体、oh, wow. 15本その手で叩いて酸化鉄を取るとなると1時間ぐらいかかるんですけど、うん、これだったら15分で終わります。わお、OK、それは4倍ぐらいですね、はい。これを叩いていてもらうんですけど、どれします ?I kind of like this one. はい、これでお願いします。これでいきますね。で、今からこの機械で叩いていってもらうんですけど、うんえー、この機械はベルトハンマーと言います。ベルトハンマーね。ベルトハンマー。はい。これを踏むと動き出します。わお、it's like a sewing machine。わ、like、かりますね。うんうん。はい。Yeah. 私の指が前にあるんで、はい。叩くんやったら私最初ですから。I will be careful. I don't want to smash your finger.、はい、じゃあ行きましょう。Okay. Ready? はい。いいですか
go. Let's go. Tada, きましたよね。で、今からこの鋼の面を、はい、えグラインダーで削ります。うん、じゃあ指先があんまり出てると指先痛いんで。OK、じゃあこれで、はい、これで。じゃあいきますね。OK。で一回確かめます。こう削れてますよね。ああ、いや。それの繰り返しです。もう少し。次こっち行きますね。OK。行きます。はい。これで当たってきましたよね。ナイス。もう,ここ、ね、もう少しですね。So this is the iron side of the knife, and it's still got a little bit of lumps on. Before we had the steel side, we made it all flat. We're going to do part of the flattening process, but we need to do it at a slower speed this time round. So we're going to hear the difference. Hi, Tony. Hi. これで叩きの工程は終わりですね。That this, it's really taking shape. Okay, one press on the pedal. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, there is. And that is now an X part of my knife. And we have the knacker ball ready to go inside the handle. Perfect. This is when we get to choose if we want to put our brand, our logo, a name, or something on the knife to mark out whatever it is you want to show. As we can see here, this is Japan by Food, and this is the official by Food knife made by Foods to Table. So I guess my next step after putting on the handle is taking this to the table and having a go at making something back at home. We're going to put the knife in the mud, and this has. Two effects when we're trying to apply the heat because we're about to heat it to 800 degrees, and if we hit it 800 degrees without applying the mud, it's going to get iron oxide on it again, and that's going to ruin the knife. Then there's another reason that after it's heated, we need to immediately put it into the water. But to make sure that the water kind of properly sticks the knife and sort of cools it down and doesn't form bubbles, that's when the mud comes into play. This is the most important part in the entire process. If we make a mistake with the temperature. Then it's all over. All that work, all that precision, and every single machine, every single step, all goes to waste. So I'm holding my breath. Let's hope it all goes well. Okay. This is where you can see it. Okay. Look. Oh wow! Yes. Color has changed. Yeah. It's a beautiful orange. So yes, orange. Orange is about 800 degrees. こういうにつけます。手に振動きます。ブクブクブクブクと。それがなくなるまでつけてもらいます。これでもう硬い状態ですよね。わお。はい。これだと硬いだけなんで、はい、焼き戻し、炙ります。ああ。この焼き戻しすることによって、はい、鋼が硬いだけでなくて。粘り、柔軟性が出ます。これでカジヤの工程は終わりですよね。わお。もちろんこのままでは包丁切れないので、えー、研ぎ師の人に、えー、託します、手渡します。はい、研ぎ師の人がこれを、えー、研いでくれて、でまた戻ってきます。それに私が絵をつけて完成ですよね。はい、それが一連の流れです。In two weeks' time, I'm going to receive this knife, and then I have the added challenge of making some very delicious food, properly cutting my vegetables using the right techniques. Hello, everyone. I'm back in my apartment in Tokyo, and I have had a very exciting delivery. My knife finally arrived. I can't wait to see what the final product looks like, and also. Put it to some good use, which means I've actually got to attempt some cooking. Let's see. Oh yes! Oh, that's amazing. So I'm feeling really 
really content with my dinner I made myself with a knife that I made myself. So I feel like I'm actually at the beginning of my knife journey and I'll probably be back to Sakai to be like, what knife shall I get next? What technique shall I learn next? But for now, I'm going to get on with finishing my dinner. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you are going to chop things at home, make sure you don't chop your fingers, not recommended. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.